Hey guys, good morning. I look. Hey guys, good morning. I look about as pale as a ghost. I am getting ready to head to the gym right now, and I just put on like an all black outfit. I'm actually trying out a spin class that they offer at my gym. I haven't done this since I think I was in college, um, and I'm a little nervous. Like. You know, it's not like a real workout class, like not real as in like it's not like at a studio, it's like at my gym, so it's a little less intimidating, but it's still like I haven't done it and I get really bad, like not social anxiety, but just like regular, I don't know, maybe it is social anxiety. I just get anxiety before workout classes always if I don't have a friend with me. So anyways, I'm going to put on a little bit of something just to not make myself look so freaking pale. This is just a NARS illuminator stick and I'm wearing an all black outfit like I said um, because sweat. I'm gonna do this spin class and then I'm gonna do an ab, little ab workout um, because I've made my workout split into kind of like a three day split. I do arms and like upper body, back, you know, chest, shoulders, everything on one day. Then I do abs and cardio another day. And then I do a full leg day. Um, and my leg day changes. Some days it's just like a body weight, lightweight cardio leg kind of moment. And other days it is, I'm not going to put mascara on by the way. I'm just um, going to curl my lashes. And then other days it's more of like um, heavier weight leg day and then other days it's something else um so yeah i've been loving that I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows a little bit actually i'm not gonna use this i'm gonna use my other one i'm gonna use my benefit i'm not gonna put mascara on because it's gonna go all over the place i don't really put makeup on for the gym always but sometimes when you need a little extra confidence i don't think there is anything wrong with it um and for bronzer or just to like warm up my face i'm gonna take whatever is already just on this brush i'm not gonna add any more product and just do that i literally made a full iced coffee and i left it back there on my shelf i'm just a little bit like flustered today i don't know why also you guys i'm rocking with the natural hair you can't really see it because my jacket is on um but i'm i've been using or using i've been wearing my natural hair for the last like couple of days and I have been really liking it just because it's like so easy. I don't need to do anything to it. And I'm trying so hard to grow it out for summer. And I just got a haircut and I honestly feel like it already is longer. I don't know. I've also been really good at taking collagen and I've been taking hair supplements as well. Um, or like hair, skin, nails. And I eat a lot of healthy fats. So I think that that's been helping as well. Oh, let me put some, oh my God, I almost dropped my whole coffee off of the thing. Um, I have been using this Laneige. Why am I so out of breath? Guys, I'm so high strung this morning. Anyways, let me show you my fit. Okay, so this is like the best sports bra for running or doing anything. Like, I feel like with if you have a larger chest, like this is the way to go. This is just the Gymshark, um, some bra. They actually sent it to me like ages ago and I never really have mentioned it on here, but I wear it all the time. Um, this little jacket is old. It's from Forever 21. I might switch it out for my like aloe quarter zip little crop. And then these leggings, you guys, like, oh my goodness, these are the airy crossover like leggings. I have these in the yoga pant version, and I also have them in the legging version. I am literally obsessed. They are so nice. Okay, and then my jewelry of the day. You guys have been asking a lot of questions about my jewelry lately. I wear the same pieces literally every single day. I just have some simple hoops. I have this little pendant necklace from Ana Luisa that I've been wearing for like the last few weeks. I'm obsessed with it. I wear it every day. I don't take it off. I shower with it, everything. I have, of course, my engagement ring. This little ring is also from Ana Luisa. And then I've been obsessed with this bracelet stack. Again, I literally do not take this off. It is so cute. And I love that my engagement ring is platinum and I mostly wear gold jewelry. And I kind of have been looking for a way for so long to bring in a mixture of like the silver and gold tones and wear it to where it looks put together and not tacky. And I finally found the best combo and I'm so obsessed, you guys. Like seriously, I wear this to the gym. Like I wear this everywhere. Like I'm, I don't take this off. Ana Luisa did send me these pieces, but I'm telling you like 100%, you can like look at any of my photos, anything, like I'm always wearing the same jewelry. Um, this stack of bracelets, I have genuinely been so obsessed. It's two little bangles, one gold, one silver. And then this little bracelet right here is kind of like a chain link moment. And two of them are pave right in the middle. 
so so pretty and i love this as a stack sometimes i'll switch hands and then i'll put my watch which is like silver and gold toned on there and these are just this one was my mom's and this one is a sleep tracker activity tracker ring um but yeah that's literally my my everyday jewelry like that's all i wear i'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested um but yeah i'm obsessed these pieces are so amazing and they do not tarnish and i literally have had some of my previous ana luisa pieces for like years like that safety pin necklace i used to wear um was also from them and so many of you guys asked me questions about that i got that years ago like christmas i don't know two three years ago and i still have it i've actually just swapped it out for this because i feel like it's a little more dainty and it's kind of more my style right now but you guys know i have a safety pin on my wrist like they just have really really great amazing pieces so i'll link all my pieces down below for you guys I got a few other like more fun statement pieces that I can show you as well. I got these little heart earrings, which I'm so, so excited to wear. And then also the matching necklace, which I think I'm going to maybe layer with this one tonight. Um, and it's just the matching necklace to this chain bracelet. And I think that's so pretty and so cute. This is like one of my favorite kind of designs that they have. All their jewelry that I've picked is like so just dainty and pretty and high quality and just gorgeous. And I'm like just so happy that I finally found a stack that incorporates my engagement ring because I always felt like I had like one gold hand and one silver hand and it just looked funny. And now I can do both and I'm happy because that means I can wear like gold earrings and all of that and not like feel like I'm clashing and I don't have to change my whole jewelry. I'm somebody that just like likes a whole everyday stack and I don't really like to change my jewelry that often. I don't know. I feel like adding to your staples is better than just like changing every single day because I don't know that seems overwhelming to me. I know it's stupid but it just does. Um, so yeah I am basically ready what else do i need to do oh i need to put on deodorant you guys um this is my favorite kind of natural deodorant it's not natural it's just aluminum free i mentioned it before it's a secret real coconut scent it smells so good that was kind of gross if i you smell it and you put it in your armpits but whatever um it's so good and it actually is something that like the scent lasts and you don't stink from it because all other aluminum free deodorants i found that you still smell stinky and Ain't nobody got time for that. Another throwback. I don't know if I showed this to you guys in a vlog, but um, I've been using for like the, just the gym, like body splash. I've been going between Juicy Couture, <laughs> Viva La Juicy, and the Warm and Cozy from Victoria's Secret. This is such a throwback. This was my shiz in um, high school. I was obsessed with this. I don't want to spray this close to my, my like coffee straws right here, but this has been my go-to before the gym. Um, just to like, it's something light where you feel like a little bit more refreshed and like you smell good, but it's nothing crazy. Um, and I feel like th these kind of scents, like more juvenile scents are appropriate for the gym for some reason. Like, I don't know why, like it's either I want to smell like clean laundry or I want to smell like a cotton candy, whatever this is supposed to be. It's just soft vanilla toasted coconut and passion fruit, but I think these smells like cotton candy. Um, but yeah, also, yeah, this sports bra, you guys, it's really great if you have a larger chest. I'm going to try to find exactly which one it is because I got it in PR from, like, not Gymshark. Like, I got it from um, a PR firm that was partnering with Gymshark, so they didn't even tell me what it was. I'm sure it had it on the tag. Maybe it has it on the tag on the inside. Anyways, I'll find it for you guys, and I will link it down below. So I really love that. And these leggings. These are the literal best leggings ever. Like, they just make you look insane. They're so stinking comfy. And... I believe I have a medium in both these leggings, like the skinny leg ones, and I have the flare leg yoga pants, and those are just amazing. Like, they just do everything they need to do, and they're so soft, they're so buttery, so comfy. I literally, like, they're my favorite most worn pants ever, so yeah, you guys need those. Um, anyways, yeah, let's go downstairs and relax for a little bit before the gym also you guys my current favorite pre-workout snack i went back to old faithful like this is something that i ate in college every single day and like high school even my banana with peanut butter before the gym i would literally eat this snack every single day um so i either do a full banana or a half a banana depending on my hunger level that day and depending on how like strenuous my workout's gonna be um i'm gonna start with this half and a crap load of peanut butter it's basically peanut butter with a side of banana um which i feel like keeps me really full gives me energy and it's just something that like i can stomach in the morning because i'm not hungry for a full like breakfast right now 
and then I have my real breakfast when I get home and I actually like want to eat a ton and I'm super hungry um so yeah I just like love this pre-workout snack I have this with my coffee and it like really keeps me going all throughout my workout I don't feel like I'm getting hunger pains throughout my workout because that's what I was struggling with before where I would like eat something and I would still be hungry throughout my workout and it would just piss me off and for some reason this does not do that or I would work out on an empty stomach because I like couldn't stomach anything and then I'd get home and I'd be like ravenous so both of those are no bueno so you want to be eating a little something before you work out you know I mean listen to your body but like I personally think it's helpful because you're gonna get probably the most out of your workout because you're actually like have the energy to do so before I used to think like oh fasted cardio fasted this like that's the way to go because you're burning fat yeah but I would only do a half ass workout like I would leave the gym early because I couldn't even finish my workout because I literally was so hungry and I had no energy so I just feel like it's so counterproductive you think you're doing something good for your body you think you're gonna like burn extra fat but you're not and I feel like that's just not a good mindset to kind of get into um so I've learned that the hard way and I remember when I was in the best shape of my life I was basically just working out every day eating intuitively but I would always eat this snack before the gym and it gave me so much energy and I always had the best like most amazing workouts and so I was like why not give it back give it a go again and I've been obsessed and it was like such a rant for like a banana with peanut butter but seriously guys try it Alrighty, you guys we are on the way I got my North Face puffer on we got our water filled up it's like a Starbucks tumbler thing in my bar my simple modern cup is dirty so we're using that um, I'm debating on getting the simple modern like 40 ounce tumbler that looks like the Stanley cup it, I just think simple modern is so clean and like nicer looking than Stanley um, but anyways I digress we're on our way I probably won't vlog the spin class but I will vlog I'll try my best to vlog my app workout um, as long as there's not people in the background I just don't want people in the background to like feel uncomfortable by me like having a camera because um, I know I wouldn't want to be filmed in the gym if I'm just like doing my thing so yeah I just try to be like respectful of others um, but also this weather like it's still cold outside here in New England but it's been sunny and it has been such a game changer to my seasonal depression I just feel like there's like a light at the end of the tunnel physically and metaphorically like it's been getting lighter um it's been getting dark later uh daylight savings is in two days spring is in 10 days like i am so stinking excited for spring you guys have no idea i think i really took it for granted when i was living in la because we just had sun all the time and now it's like when you have sun you're just so happy and I don't know like I, I guess I didn't really pay any mind to it as much all winter but now that it, the, it's starting to change I'm like holy crap this does make a difference so um also my hair looks kind of crazy right now but I brought a little clippy clip to clip it up um so yeah we're gonna do our little spin class and we're gonna get this day started <laughs> editing some content doing some work on my computer shooting some thumbnails for this video actually um and for instagram kind of like in a cute workout set and i'm sure you guys will see the thumbnail of this video and i honestly was like really feeling confident and feeling good in my body and i have had like a rough body image for the last few months and i kind of shifted my focus and shifted my mindset recently and i wanted to talk about that with you guys and just kind of like discuss a few things before i like sign off the vlog um like i said i mentioned in a few videos back that i was struggling with my body image and i had kind of put on weight and i just was feeling uncomfortable and i couldn't seem to get a grasp on a good workout routine and everything just seemed so hard to me for some reason and i don't know i just felt very puffy and uncomfortable in my body and I love my body I love myself like I you know I am not trying to sit here and say woe is me and complain and you know I've come a long way when it comes to my body image but you know everyone has those days or those times and I was really going through it for a while with my body image and I just didn't want to constantly be talking about that on here but it was something that really bothered me for a while and it's still not perfect you know we have our days but I'm starting to feel a lot better and it's because I kind of shifted my mindset um 
I started getting like, I'm a very type A person and I'm a planner. So started thinking about, you know, the wedding and I know it's a year and a half away, but I was like, oh my God, gotta start getting in shape for the wedding. Like, you know, gotta start blah, blah, blah. And I was like, girl, first of all, you need to relax. Um, your wedding's a year and a half away. And yes, it's good to start early and slow and steady wins the race. And then you don't have to do anything drastic and you can kind of just like get back into a groove and then when like it comes time for like crunch time for the wedding, that is not a concern for you. Like you're just gonna feel good, whatever. I also was like, I don't wanna just only look good for the wedding. Like I wanna look good all the time, feel good, find a routine that's maintainable and not something that I'm just doing in order to look good for one day. Like that just seems silly to me. But I also like, I realized how sensitive my body can be sometimes and how, you know, uh, to stress especially. So it's more, less so physical stress and more so mental and emotional stress um, for me that I've realized that like is the culprit to like so many of, you know, my issues that I've had in the past. And mental health wise, I was like, I don't want to stress myself out about anything anymore. So I was like, I want to be healthy. I want to genuinely feel good. I want to fuel my body. I want to do partake in movement that makes me feel good. And yes, of course, the aesthetics are part of it and I wanna look good and feel confident. Like, you know, it's part of my job. I'm a model and I'm on social media. So it is hard to not love the way you look and also be conscious of the fact that I hadn't been taking care of my body for a little bit. Um, so that was something that I really had to just come to terms with that like, you need to prioritize health. And it's something I always preach to you guys is that you need to prioritize your health, your mental and your physical health and the aesthetics will follow. And I kind of just realized that I wasn't feeling the most confident in my body, but I needed to fake it until I make it. And just like put on, like for so long, I was wearing like t-shirts and baggy ho hoodies and things that just are so very out of character for me to wear to the gym. Like I'm a sports bra, leggings, like, uh, biker shorts and like a cute top kind of girl to the gym always no matter what like I've always been like that and I found myself like trying to cover up trying to wear baggy clothes and I know it's like something that seems so minuscule and silly to some people that like oh like who cares what you wear to the gym but for me so much of that is mental and I found that once I was just like okay shift your mindset you already are the highest best version of yourself like just imagine that you already are and stop focusing on oh when i feel like this or when i look like this then i'll be confident because if you don't already have that confidence within no matter what i've been there my body has fluctuated i've gained and lost the same 10 20 30 40 pounds my entire life and guess what the time that i was at my absolute lowest weight i had probably what it would be considered my dream body for me and I was so insecure. I thought I looked horrible. I would look at pictures of myself and be like, oh my God, I look disgusting. Like I still have so much weight to lose. I was never satisfied. And now I'm like, dude, you are 20 years, seven years old. Like it is time to look at yourself in the mirror. Stop talking negatively about yourself. Put on that workout set, fake that confidence until you actually have it. And eventually you will, you'll have that confidence. Like, and once you do, that body like you're gonna start to enjoy the process because you're already happy you're already finding joy you're already finding appreciation in your day-to-day -day life that once it happens and it starts happening for you like and you're putting in the work but you're enjoying the process you're gonna be so much more appreciative and so much just like happier and i don't know i just i feel like i've just had this weird shift like i've been reading a lot of more spiritual books and books about manifestation and I've just been doing kind of like a deep dive on things that I had never really processed before and doing a lot of like self work internally and externally. I've really been like killing it in the gym. Like I've started strength training instead of like focusing on cardio so much and just listening to my body and like finding a really good routine that's been working for me that I've been sticking to. And I just feel like so good right now and I'm not 100% where I would like to be physically. Like I'm just going to keep it at 100 with you guys like that's just that's how I personally feel but I already love myself and I am confident and I am telling myself that every single day that like you deserve to take up space you deserve to be here you deserve to wear that outfit and feel cute and feel confident and do your hair and makeup and put on a cute outfit and take those photos and go to the events that all the other people get to go to and do all those things that you know sometimes you tell yourself I'm kind of getting on a tangent here, but I just think it all ties back into having self-confidence and that 
coming from within and knowing your worth. So yeah, I don't know this like mindset shift of being like, I'm already her showing up as that person that you want to be and being like, I'm already her. I'm already the best version of myself. I'm already her. Like she's me, you know, we're one in the same. She's going to be here at some point, but she's already here. You know, I'm ready for her. I'm already like vibrationally aligned with what she is because she would be doing all the things that I'm doing right now. She would be journaling and she would be taking time for herself and she would be, you know, having, spending time with friends, but also focusing on things that light her up and make her passionate and, you know, killing it in the gym, but making sure to fuel her body and taking rest days when she needs to, like doing all the things that like, this is what she would be doing. She's me, you know, we're killing it. Like maybe the physical isn't aligning with what's inside right now, but it's going to. You have to keep telling yourself it's going to. I tell this, I drill this into like all my best friends' heads all the time when they start talking negatively about themselves and being like, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm disgusting, I'm this. And I'm like, dude, if you keep saying that to yourself, that is what you're gonna be, you know? And I, it, it's tough love, but it's the truth. Like you have to stop saying that to yourself. Like you cannot hate yourself into a body you love. And that is a quote that has stuck with me for so long because it's true. That's how it ended up for me on my last kind of like fitness journey where I really didn't like the way I looked. I didn't start out confident and I didn't like my body. And as much as I would try to preach to you guys to be confident, I didn't like what I was looking at in the mirror ever. And so, although I started out with a healthy mindset, that healthy mindset, I still had an unhealthy body image. So I didn't start out with unhealthy tendencies. I actually started out the journey healthy, but it turned into something super negative because then that body image, that like, negative self-talk it takes over and that little voice in your head is really really scary and really really powerful and i just never want to be in that place ever again so i digress this was a very long tangent but i just want to say you guys you have to love yourself you have to get in the way of those little voices in your head and you have to take over and be like no i love myself i already am her i already am the best version of myself i'm working every day to get closer and closer to what i physically think is the best version of myself but this is the best version of myself you know and eventually like if you visualize it if you think about it and you really want it like it will be i don't know how else to put it but you just got to start showing up as her every day so that is literally the mindset shift that has changed for me and i have no idea i haven't stepped on a scale i haven't measured myself i have no measure of progress in any type of numeric form because that's another thing that i'm like trying to not do because it just gets really toxic for me but to me i feel like i'm already seeing progress in like a week or two just from that mindset shift and it's probably just because i'm kinder to myself and so i'm just liking what i see in the mirror more and more every day even if i don't know if anything's really changing but it's just making me feel like I'm getting more fit and I'm, you know, my skin's glowing and my hair's getting longer and all this, all these things that like, who knows if it is, but I feel it. I really do. But yeah, I love you guys. Um, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to check out Ana Luisa for my fave jewelry pieces. Obsessed, like seriously, hands down obsessed. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.